Yo, what's up everybody, back again with another Invincible Custom, and today we'll be making Adam Eve, so let's get started. Alright, so for the hair piece I went with is this hair right here, this one right here, wavy one, you're gonna make it, uh, let's see, you're gonna make it this color right here, and then for the head piece, just go ahead number 49, and for the wrinkle color, make it the same hair color, just like this. Alright, so on, okay, for the arm piece, I went with Adam Strange, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make the, let's see, we're gonna make the first color, let's see. Yeah, you'll, you'll make it uh, this color here, and you're gonna make the second color this pink right there. <laughs> Alright, so for the torso, you're gonna go to body piece, and you're gonna go to custom body, and you're gonna go with body number two, just like this. You're gonna make the color this pink right here, and the second color this light pink. And then for the decal, you're gonna go with dead shot right here. Just leave it white the way it is. And for the hands, you're gonna go with uh, let's see, you're gonna go with light pink, <laughs> just like this. And for the hip piece, you're gonna, gonna go with light pink, just like this. What am I doing? Whoops. All right. So for the legs, you're gonna go to boots all the way up here. You make the first color the skin tone, and the second color this light pink right there. No, my bad. No, no, not that. Not the light pink. The brighter pink, this one right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm just looking at images to see if I got the design right, so... Uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. Okay, so we just need the final piece, and that is the cape. So you can go with cape number 9, because I think I believe this, she has a very short cape. It's, she does not have a ridiculously long cape, just like this. No, I don't think it goes like above her leg. I think it goes like around her hip area, just like this. So I think this is perfect right there. I'm gonna make both colors just like pink, just like this. Alright, so for the effect, we are gonna add a left hand glow. I'm gonna go with star number three. You're gonna make sure you go with, uh, let's see, which color. You're gonna go with this pink right here. You're gonna do the same for the right hand glow. Go with star three and then make sure it's uh, this light pink right here. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the best one right here. Alright, so for the hidden pack, you're gonna make. Uh, light pink, my light pink, just like this. And for the style, let's see. I quite like this one, so we're gonna go with that. For the jump sound effect, you're gonna go with it. You're gonna make that light pink, just like this. But for the style, let's see what do we got. I think we'll go with that. That's pretty cool. Alright, now on to the ability. So for the X taps, X button, you of course want the flight ability. And then we're gonna add hyper jump. And then for tap circle, we're gonna add bolts. So you're gonna make it this pink right here. Let's see for the style, let's see. I guess we'll go with style number one and for the for damage type, uh, let's see, what should we have it as? Maybe a heat beam. Actually, yeah, we're gonna add targeting, so we're not gonna have anything for whole square. But for tap circle, we're gonna add a force field, and then we're gonna make that, let's see, what style? Let's see, maybe with that, and then we're gonna make that light pink. Let's see if there's anything else better. I think we're gonna go with style number three, because I think that looks the best, in my opinion. So, uh, let's see what else, what kind of powers that she has. Genius and talent. <laughs> Alright, so for the whole circle, we're gonna have an explosion attack. And let's see, we're gonna go with stone number one, just like this. Make sure it's pink, just like this. And then for, the, for the effect, uh, let's see, stone number four, maybe. I think we'll go with style number one. And then for the explosion damage, I guess we'll make it a silver explosion. Okay, now on to the abilities. So we're gonna add, let's see, we don't need a grapple, we will add technology. We don't need acrobat or wall climbing if, if she could just fly. I don't think she can mind control, but I'm pretty sure she has telekinesis, so we're gonna give her that. Go so just like this. I don't, does she have super strength? Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. 
we will add beam reflect uh, let's see x-ray uh, not sure tracking yeah I guess we'll add that let's see we're gonna make that let's see which pink yeah that's pretty cool okay we're gonna go with that and yeah I think that's pretty much it so all we gotta do is fill in the basic information so for the health icon so we're gonna go pink uh, I'm not sure is she invulnerable uh, I mean I, I yeah, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Let's see, it says she has she's in mortality. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? Fuck it, let's give her invulnerability. It's just like she could be just like the others. You know, go with any female voice and for a target radical, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing that has pink at all, so I guess we're gonna go with Enchantress. And then we're gonna go with basic speed and for the animation we're gonna go with cool. And now I'm gonna fill in the basic information and name her. Alright, so we completed our design. So now let's take her out of the hub world. Alright, so here's my custom Adam Eve from the Invincible series. So we got tap square for the bolts, just like this, and we could also target just like this. We got tap circle for the force field ability, just like that, which I think looks pretty cool. And yeah, pulse circle for explosion attack. And we got flight right here. And also the jump sound effect. Actually, let me just take a quick sofer. Yeah. And yeah, you can see Mario and Sonic in the background. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can get a better lighting area with Supergirl right here. Ugh, why did you have to blink it, Adam Eve? Okay, let's try that one more time. Come on. Ah, I should have took a picture there. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, yes, that's a perfect picture. I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's go set that as a, a billboard right here. Oops, come on. Got 50 out of 90 photos. <laughs> Alright, so where's the picture we just recently took? Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's, I think, I, yeah, it's one of these. Uh, let's delete this one. I don't like that. Yeah, it's this one here, so we're gonna set that. There we go. That is, I, that's better right there. So let's go fight some crime as Adam E. Alright, where's Super go? Okay, maybe she'll help me out. There we go, get that ice breath. And then heat vision. Alright, uh, now let's fight some crap. Boom. Hey, let's shoot some bolts. Alright, uh, keep shooting the same cop. Ooh, ooh, did you see I actually got reflected? Wow, so you tell me, hold on, you tell me this character can, cannot get shot by bullets? Oh wait, how did it, how did it get reflected though? <laughs> And you know what would be cool if, if they try to shoot me and then the bullet would be reflected if I activate the force field. I'm not sure if that works, but I'll try it. It probably doesn't. That would have been cool if it actually did work. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah, it's not working. Alright, let's take them out. So I'm not sure with which Supergirl version is this. I'm not sure if it's the CW version, like you know the TV show. Because I mean her outfit is is dark blue here, and I made a classic version. Just I'm um, just let me show you. I, I mean if you guys want me to make a tutorial, there I don't know why would you want me to make a tutorial because it's pretty much just like Supergirl, the same powers like you know just a lighter blue. So actually let me go all the way over here so that way you can get a better look at it. Because you can't see very well, very well when it's raining, so yeah, okay, there we go, much better. Alright, so I believe, yeah, this the classic Supergirl right here. 
yeah, I, I actually tried to base this design off the Helen Slater version, you know, that 1984 movie. So yeah, this, yeah, I gave her the actual skirt piece because I thought that looks much better than just, you know, just a printed version of the hips and with the legs. So yeah, I think that brings it up all together right here. So yeah, this is my very version of, this is my Helen Slater version of Supergirl right here. Just to show you guys. Alright, but I'm not sure if you guys, if you guys want me to make a tutorial for this version of Supergirl, then I can try, but it's just like a, just like a repeat, just, I mean, I don't see the point since the real Supergirl, the actual Supergirl is in this game, so, yeah, there we go. And another character that I actually, that, that didn't make it to the game is the Nuclear Man. And you guys remember this guy from the fucking terrible Superman movies, that known as Superman 4, The Quest for Peace? Yeah, there's this, this is him right here, the Nuclear Man. <laughs> Yeah, that movie fucking sucks, man. It's probably the worst Superman movie I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why am I showing you this, <laughs> these designs if it's about enemy, if not these two characters, but yeah, just to show you guys. And you guys want me to make a tutorial of this guy? I'll, I'll show you guys. <laughs> Like, I'm really happy to show you Tim how to make the nuclear man, because I'm surprised he didn't make it to this game. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!